Hi, my name is Arnell Custodio, and welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about how to backup your website files in cPanel. When you're making backups in the cPanel, you'll have two options. You can use either the backup option or the backup wizard. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to be looking through the backup option. So to start making backups in cPanel, you first need to log in to the cPanel, as we have here. And you're going to go ahead and click on the backup icon. When the backup screen appears, you'll see that you have several options. You'll see the full backup, account backups, and partial backups. The full backup is defined as an archive of all your website files and configuration. You can use this file to move your account to another server or keep a local copy of your files. In order to make a full backup, simply click on download a full website backup. And here you'll see the options that are available to you when you're generating a full backup. The first thing you'll see is the backup destination, which in this case is the home directory on the web server. And if you click on the drop down arrow here, you can select where you want the backup to be sent to. You could select a remote FTP server or a passive mode transfer or use SCP. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on home directory for now, but if you are going to be saving your backup on the home directory, make sure that you download that backup off of your server and save it in a secure location that you can access. This ensures that you have a backup of your website file that's not on your web server. The next option is the email address. And here, this email address is used to notify you when the backup is finished. In some cases, your backup may take maybe an hour or more, depending on the size of the site. So you may not want to be sitting in front of the backup when it's being generated. So you want to have a notification when it's done. And the backup application here will send you a notice through the email address that you select. You can also elect not to get that notification by simply clicking here. Do not send email notification of the backup completion. If your website is fairly large, then you want to know when the backup is completed so that you don't have to sit and watch the backup being done. Once you're ready to generate the backup, click on Generate Backup. And then the backup will be generated. Again, once the backup is done, you will receive an email that lets you know that the backup has been done and where to find the file. Make sure that you save the file to a secure location so that you have a backup that's safe and in a location that you can access. So the next kind of backup that you can use here in the backup option is the account backups. Uh, we do not have a way to show this to you at this point as if you're on a shared server, you do not have that option. If you are on a VPS account or a dedicated server account, then the administrator for the server must enable that feature so that you can see the option here. Basically, these are automated backups that happen on a schedule. And if they're available, then you can click to download the file so that you can save the file in a secure location. The option below that is partial backups. We're going to show that here now. In the partial backup section, notice that you're able to download a home directory backup, the MySQL database backup, the email forwarders, and the email filters. Here you can see this says download a home directory backup. And the partial backup is basically going to be a copy of your home directory files. So any files that are in the home directory of your account will be downloaded in this backup. To create that backup, simply click on home directory. And then you're going to be given an option here to select where you want to save the file or how you want to save the file. Generally, you want to click on Save File, and then when you click on OK, you'll be asked where you want to save the file. Notice that the file is saved as a compressed file. 
In order to open the file, you can upload it back into cPanel and then use the options in File Manager to expand the file. Under the Home Directory Backup, you have the option to also download a MySQL database backup, or download the email forwarders, or the filters that you may have created on your account. In order to select these backups, you would actually have to click on in each individual one. So in the case of downloading a MySQL database backup, you would click on one of the databases that you wish to download and backup. This would be the same if you wish to download the email forwarders. You would need to click on one of the domains for the forwarders. And also for the email filters. Now the email filters actually saves for your entire account. So you, you would only be dealing with this one file. In each case, when you click on one of these files, you'll be given the option as when you're saving the home directory on how to open the file or where to save the file. And that completes how to create a backup in cPanel using the backup option. Thanks again for watching this InMotion hosting video tutorial. We hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. We'd also like to see some comments from you so we know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.